When I was 15 years old, um, still in high school, I had a buddy of mine named Michael Hardy. Shout out to Michael Hardy. He'll probably never see this video because I lost contact with him after high school. Although I made a Facebook recently because um, some of the shows I was doing, they required us to have Facebook pages so that we could communicate with each other through Messenger. Because we carpool, because most of the shows are not in Baltimore. So we carpool and, you know, we communicate with each other through the Facebook Messenger. So now that I have a Facebook, I might try to see if he's alive and hit him up. Like, hey, what's up, Michael? You yeah, know, remember me? You know what I'm saying? The high school guy you always lectured. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, he was cool peoples. But... He told me, he used to lecture me all the time when we were 15 because I would complain, complain, complain. Oh, these stupid fucking teachers teaching this useless shit. When am I ever going to need to know this crap? And Michael would be like, listen, man. <coughs> Might have to edit that out. <coughs> and Michael would be like, listen, man, calm down. You know, I get it. You want to complain. You want to bitch. Just calm down, shut up, do the work. The quicker, the sooner you graduate, the higher your grades are, the less of this shit you got to deal with, right? So Michael Hardy <coughs> was one of the first guys in my life that essentially told me, you know, bitch and complain less, do more solutions, right? I didn't start adapting that mentality until you know, way later in life. In fact, some of my most famous videos on YouTube that I'm kind of embarrassed to go back and look at are me just bitching, you know, me bitching, getting people killed on video games, complaining, complaining, complaining. Now, I was still doing solutions, though. My solution was murder, you know. Um, I got popular on Toontown because I made murdering people famous on that game if they pissed you off right um i got one of my ex-girlfriends uh hope you guys know her as hope i got her to play toontown corporate clash with me and you know um i had such an influence on her that the first time somebody on that game pissed her off she killed them <laughs> in toontown they call that greening but I was still having a solution while I was bitching and complaining. That solution was murder, violence, killing your fellow man, greening people. Now, this video isn't to justify any of that. But, you know, this video is to basically talk about, you know, in life you're going to have problems. You're going to get thrown curveballs, hurlballs, etc. And you can complain or you can make solutions, or you can do both. You know, a little bit of complaining is healthy, but for the most part, you should be sticking to solutions. You guys notice in my newer videos as of last year up until now, I don't really do much complaining. I talk mostly about solutions. I highlight what the problem is, then I give a solution. I don't really bitch or complain that much anymore, you know. Even when drama's happening on, you know, some of the games I play, I usually give the solution. Like, listen, you guys suck. You guys are upset that you suck. That's why you caused the drama. But here's the solution. Now, the right people listen to these videos. And that's who I'm targeting. You know, in the past, when I was making the Toontown videos, I had no targeted audience. I was just an angry little teenager that was just bitching and moaning. I had a lot of anger in real life. I had a lot of anger. I, I, I brought it to the video games. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I got a reputation off of bitching and yelling at people and, you know, making people laugh and whatnot. And even after I quit Toontown, I still continued to make videos bitching because, you know, people enjoyed hearing bitching. So at one point in my life, I was just appealing to the masses, you know. Oh, people like to hear bitching. I like to bitch. Let's bitch some more, right? But eventually, you got to realize that bitching gets you nowhere, you know? 
It took me forever, well not forever, um, because despite all the bitching I was doing, I was still very skilled at many things. So I'm not going to say it took me forever to accomplish what I accomplished back then, but it took me a lot longer than it should have to accomplish the same things in real life. Now, video games are video games. It doesn't take much time to accomplish stuff on video games, either you have it or you don't. Real life is a little bit different. In real life, you know, there's craft building, so to speak. But in video games, you either have it or you don't. You know, it is what it is, right? There's people that have been playing these easy games, Toontown, Pirate 101, World of Tanks, some of the games you guys know I play, all multiplayer. Been playing for years, never get any better, but then, you know, guys like me show up, they're a top player within a year. You know, in real life, because there's a lot more variables, there's a lot more to learn, there's a lot more craft building. So, for the 25 years, I was just bitching at everything. Even though I was advancing in places in life, it took a lot longer than it should have, right? Um, as of the day of recording this video, August 19th, 2022, I've been in three acting gigs so far, and I started this about four or five months ago, so I'm progressing quickly. I have another audition coming up on September 3rd. Um, that's for a movie, and I recently submitted um, an application because they're doing a TV show here in Baltimore. I recently submitted my application for that, sent in my headshots, sent in the videos they were asking for. Hopefully, I get that. Um, but this new crap that I've entered, I've been progressing quickly, as well as other endeavors I've entered, I've been progressing quickly, and that's and part of that is. I realized you attract what you are, right? I'm, I have several videos talking about that, but you attract what you are. You can't let failure crush you. You can't let rejection crush you. You can't let problems crush you. When a problem occurs in your life, you have to calm down. Okay, this is this. Now, what's the solution? This week, I had some major problems. I took my car in to get repaired because I hit a deer a month ago and the whole left side of my car was destroyed. And I use my car for work. You guys know I drive for Uber. I make a lot of money driving for Uber. There's a misconception that you can't make money on rideshare. It heavily, see, it's a craft. You have to learn the game. You have to study your craft, right? To make... To maximize your profits in jobs where you as an individual is solely responsible for your work hours and your work ethic, it's up to you to do the research to figure out how to make money in the job. Heavily depends on the market you're in, as well as a myriad of other factions. So, I took my car in this week to get it repaired. Initially, they told me two weeks. I'm like, whatever, right? I'll get a rental from, from Uber so I can keep making money while my car is in the shop. <clears throat> I got a text message this morning. They're talking about 21 days now. Her, uh, a curveball, because I'm not going 21 days without working. And getting a rental has proven to be difficult because I mostly use a Lyft debit card. And I'm, I'm quickly finding out that a lot of the Uber rental places don't let you use a Lyft deb debit card. I mostly use debit. Um, my credit cards don't didn't have a high enough limit to where I could use those to get the rental because to get the rental, my name has to be on the card. That means I can't use somebody else's debit card because initially I was just going to give my mom 500 and then use her card and then boom. But then they told me that my name has to be on the card. So I'm like, okay, what's the solution? I tried using my mom's car for Uber and can't use it because my name's not on the car. Okay. Because when you submit the insurance, they look and see whose name, who owns the car, etc. So I'm like, okay. What's the solution? Think, think, think. Okay. Let's take the same 500 and use it to raise the credit card limit up by 500. Boom. 
I'll use that card. It has my name on it. We'll get the rental on Monday when they're open again. And boom, that way I can at least keep working. <clears throat> because, guys, I'm still paying for acting classes. I'm still paying for the headshots. I got to get, I, I've been getting by with just my own photography and my own video making. But, and that has gotten me some jobs in acting. Don't get me wrong. But, and it has allowed me to meet some very unique individuals in this crap so far but i understand to get the bigger roles the better paying roles the more important roles i gotta spend money a lot of money to go further in the craft right and a main reason i'm able to figure this out so quickly is because i've ascended above the bitching and complaining stage at this point in my life, I'm all about solutions. Hopefully, the solution I just highlighted works on Monday so I can get back to making more money because I need to keep making money. You know, this ain't no vacation time, right? Oh, 21 days of no working now. This ain't no vacation time. I'm actually so not, I'm actually so not used to having free time now. I mean... It's crazy. Like I, it's kind of. <laughs> I need some. I need some shit to do. You feel me? But I still have stuff to do. There's some videos I still gotta make because I told some people I would make some videos for them. They asked me questions in the comments that I can't answer in the comments. I gotta make videos for those. So I'm gonna get to those. The videos I've been uploading, <clears throat> you know, recently. You guys have noticed have been mostly just quick, not that serious videos, but let me get back to making videos like this while I have some extra free time. What's the moral of this video, guys? When you have a problem, try not to bitch, try not to complain. Use your energy, your time, and your focus on finding the solution because you attract what you are. If you want to attract winners in your life, people that are capable of coming up with solutions, you have to become that. Because by becoming a person that doesn't bitch and just makes solutions, you attract those people in your life and then you get the solutions. <clears throat> or y'all work on the solutions together. And it's just it's just one of the secrets that's not really a secret into advancing in life. You have to become the person that you seek to attract and then you will start to attract what you are. You want to become successful, you got up. Uh, I already said that wrong. You want to attract successful people, you got to become successful. In my case, if I want to land more roles, I got to become the type. In order to attract that type of success, I have to become that first on my own. Then I'll attract it. You know, it's the universe works, you know, as one big ball of energy, right? It's a secret that's not really a secret. Everybody knows this deep down inside, but. For whatever reason, people are uncomfortable with acknowledging that you are fully in control of your own fate. People want to believe that we're robots with predetermined AIs and that life is just a big ball of randomness when in reality you can control exactly what happens to you in your life, right? One day, one of these days, I'm going to try to get my boy Jetty on one of these videos. He has a theory that I think thoroughly explains everything very well but i won't steal his words i won't steal his sayings if it's meant that i'll get him in one of these videos sometimes if that you know we can make that happen we'll make it happen if not that's all good because you know but yeah guys hopefully uh this little video helps some people out and yeah become solutions find solutions, attract solutions, prosper. Some complaining is okay, but don't let that be your energy and your focus, okay? Complain for a second, okay, here's the problem, what's the solution? Catch y'all in the next video.